Project 20 is overhead lights. We will use the same circuit as in Project 19, but we will carefully insert the color LED parallel to the white one. We would first use two single snap wires underneath the color LED and then connect two snap wires on top. You can use this diagram for reference. But when I turn on the slide switch, both the white and LEDs come on, so you have two overhead lights in your pretend room. I mean, pretend that this is a house or another, or a room in a house. The color LED flashes and changes colors. As an alternative, you can also simply replace the white LED with the color one, but I'm not going to do that for this project. Project 21 is Security House. This is the first Snap Circuits project in which we are going to use all five base grids, all four smaller ones, and assembling this circuit can be very tricky. So that's why you have to be extremely careful and you have to read the instructions as carefully as you can so that you are assembling everything in the right order and you're also inserting the grids in the right positions. In fact, I actually inserted base grid D with the parts facing inward as if they were looking like this. But in reality, they had to be turned around so that the parts were closer to the bottom of the grid, not the top like I thought. Now, inserting the light tunnel on base grid E here is relatively easy. You connect the jumper wires and put the attachment on the Q4 transi photo transistor last. Now when we turn on the slide switch, the light tunnel and white LED turn on. The color LED remains off, as does the horn. But I am going to put my hand inside the house, and then the alarm sounds and the color LED lights up. When I remove my hand, the color LED turns off and the alarm stops. That's because when I put my hand in the house, I'm blocking light from the white LED to the phototransistor. When light cannot get to the phototransistor, the alarm and color LED turn on. You can pretend that this is a real house and that this is like a, a burglar alarm. You can actually put something in the house. I don't recommend putting actual valuables in, but just for fun, you can put something in, like a stuffed animal or maybe just a very like a toy car, as long as it's not in the way of the white LED and phototransistor. And then if someone else, like a sibling, tries to get it, the alarm will likely go off if their hand and arm are going to break the beam. And then that hopefully that will scare them away. But this gives you an idea of how a security alarm could work. Number 22 is similar to the previous project. And this one is security housed with two outer lights. We use the same circuit except we modify the project by rearranging the parts on base grid D so that they are facing outward instead of inward, just like that. And then we reconnect the jumper wires. Here's what you can do. But they give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to build this project from scratch in case you didn't do the previous one. But we are going to turn on the slide switch. Light tunnel comes on. And now the color LED is outside the house, not inside. And you can pretend that these are extra lights outside the house so that if an intruder breaks in, lights outside can come on and warn bystanders about what might be happening. That's how I see it at least. And also it might 
might scare, help to scare the intruders away as well. 23 is one mirror circuit. We will use two of the small base grids and we will assemble the parts on them according to the diagram and instructions here. I am not going to show you them for this project, but once we complete the circuit, we're going to put the mirror on the, just the holder, no spring on it this time and align it properly and also put the attachment onto the phototransistor. Now, please turn down your volume because this is going to be loud. I'm going to turn on the slide switch. Just adjust the mirror. And now the horn sounds and the color LED turns on. Place your hand in front of the mirror or phototransistor and the sound stops. The color LED also turns off. The white LED is on continuously. Take your hand away and the horn resumes and the color LED comes back on. In this circuit, the press switch is just being used as a one snap wire and so pushing it will have no effect. Like what I probably said before, the Q4 attachment prevents background lights from triggering the alarm. For project 24, one mirror blinking circuit, I'm going to turn on the slide switch. This is going to be loud, so please turn down your volume. I'm going to try to cover the horn. But listen to the sound. The the horn sounds according to how the color LED is behaving. If the color LED is blinking, the horn is beeping. If it's changing colors, then the horn is changing the pitch of its sound. It's not on, it does not produce a steady tone. That's because the color LED is controlling the horn. And the circuit has similar principles to the previous one in how the mirror is reflecting the light from the color LED onto the phototransistor to sound an alarm. The color LED is also controlling the white LED. For number 25, three wall house, we will use all four of the small base grids. I will quickly show you the instructions and the diagram. And this project is called Three Walled House because as you might guess, there are th three walls for this circuit. One, two, and three. When we turn on the slide switch, all of the LEDs are going to light up and f most of them will flash. Only the white LED will stay on continuously. But the tunnel produces a spectacular light show while the color LED blinks. You can pretend that the LEDs are different components in a room in a house. For instance, the white LED could be an overhead light, the light tunnel could be a TV, and the color LED could be a desk computer. Here's what the circuit looks like from the back. It looks more boring when you view it from that angle, but from the front, it's very, very cool. For project 26, two mirror circuit, we are going to use the main base grid, which is actually the vertical part of the circuit, and then two smaller grids, which are combined as one. Grids B and C are pushed together so that they are a full-size grid. 
they form a full-size grid. More importantly, we're using both mirrors, which will be mounted on these points on the circuit, and mount them at roughly 45-degree angles like this. Now, they're not perfect, so they're probably not going to stay on easily, but when we turn on the slide switch, let, let's see what happens. And also, please turn down your volume because it's, this, there's a horn in this project. The color LED flashes and the w white LED turn on, and then when we align the, horn, uh, the mirrors properly, light will reflect from the white LED across the mirrors and onto the phototransistor. You have to hold the mirrors in a certain position for the horn to sound. It's very loud, so I'm not going to keep it on long. But right now the phototransistor is absorbing light from the white LED reflected off using the two mirrors. Now when I hold down the press switch, the light tunnel turns on. And it will only stay on as long. Okay, there goes the horn. It will only stay on as long as I'm holding down the press switch. Number 27, simple two mirror circuit, uses the pr one from Project 26, but will remove the color LED and the light tunnel as well as the two blue jumper wires that connect it. Now when we turn on the slide switch, the horn will sound if the light from the white LED is reflected properly and reaches the phototransistor. This is going to be loud, so please turn down your volume. And there you have it. Project 28 is Angled Roof House. This project is very simple, although it's pretty complicated to build. And that is why I can't go over the instructions, although I'll quickly show you the diagram. For this project, looking at the jumper wires, which connect to the walls of the house from the roof, from the LEDs, may give you a hint on the direction that the roof goes onto the house. I am going to turn on the slide switch and we have the white and color LEDs. You might be hard to see, I'll tilt the house up and turn on the slide switch. The white LED lights up and the color LED flashes. And it is like uh, the house has a vaulted ceiling where with lights. You could pretend that the light, the color LED on the right is a disco ball, although it would make more sense for it to be on a flat ceiling and not an angled ceiling, but I guess you could have it either way. Number 29 is break the beam. This project uses the main base grid and two of the smaller ones labeled B and C and this project is more easy to assemble than the previous one and I'm going to turn on the slide switch. The white LED comes on and when I put my hand in front between the white LED and phototransistor the horn sounds. That's because light is being blocked from the phototransistor. And in this circuit, when that happens, the resistance decreases and the horn sounds. When light reaches the phototransistor, the resistance increases and the horn stops.